Around 200 British towns and cities once had trams, first pulled by horses, then driven by steam, then powered by electricity, and then, nearly all of them, scrapped, shoved over by cars and buses. But if you know where to look, a few survive. This one, you can tell by the ear of wheat, came from a Dorset farm, and that's where Richard Lee saw it. We went to see the farmer. Uh, uh, he had an old shepherd's hut because we, we restore and build shepherd's huts and so we went to have a look at the, the hut on his farm and we got chatting and he said do you want to come and have a look at my tram um, so we did and it was in a barn and uh, he, he, he bought it thinking he would restore it but he never, never got round to it so we bought it off him and moved it up here to our new workshop and what were your thoughts when you first saw it? Uh, it, was, it was one of those um, instant I want one of those, I don't know why really, <laughs> but um, it's an old thing, there can't be many of them left and we're obviously capable of restoring it or at least converting it into a modern day use, so um, we kind of jumped to the chance really. And what are you going to do with it exactly? Uh, for now it'll be our office, it'll be a um, office and somewhere we go for lunch, um, that kind of thing, and then one day there'll be another use for it, but I don't know what it is yet. Sometimes people say, I want one of those, they get one, and then they think, when they've got it, actually, <laughs> I've changed my mind. Um, Have no, you had any regrets? No, not at all. No, no. We've got plenty of room to store it, so it's not a problem having it here. And um, we just love the, the heritage of it, the fact that they're, um, it is incredibly well made, uh, and the detailing on it is something to be preserved, really. So far, we've only managed to find one picture of the tram, and here it is, 113. 113, indeed, an old Bournemouth tram, pictured here outside the Lansdowne Hotel, heading for South Bourne. She entered service in 1926, and inside, what looks at first like a mouldy bit, actually tells you who made her. The Brush Electrical Engineering Company of Loughborough, which is still going today. It's certainly true, Brush made this vehicle well. Yeah, we've got an old door panel here that um, you can still read on there, do not spit in the car, which would have been done in gold leaf, I think. And then there's number at the top, which would have said number 113. And this panel would have gone over this door area here. And I think it was hinged so that you could get at it to, um, to get at the mechanism for the sliding doors. And then the, on the other side, the, the panel is still there. It's still hanging um, where it should be. Well made, do you think? Incredibly well made, um, beautiful detailing. It was all coach built. I mean, in those days, they, they, they put more into the detailing than anybody would nowadays, I would have thought. No, I suppose they, they took a lot of pride in their work. As Plankbridge also take pride in their work, and as only six old Bournemouth trams survive, it will be fascinating to return here to Piddle Hinton in Dorset to see how 113 is faithfully restored and used. <laughs>